Hi guys, I went to Dollar General. I feel like it's been a minute. I'm trying to visit the store a little bit more often. Um, because lately I have been scoring some really good finds and I did I did once again on this trip they are putting out the cutest little summer line I'm definitely seeing like a blueberry strawberry and lemon theme going on within Dollar General which I'm gonna share with you guys plus they're doing these colors like pastel blue yellow and green but like soft colors I would call them like pastels and they have like little carrying totes and you know cleaning bottles and ice cube trays and all kinds of things like within this color line I didn't get those things in particular but they're doing really good so let me just show you what I did get and if you don't follow me on TikTok I did film my shop with me of this and you will be able to see other things I didn't pick up so first of all, let's talk about the lemon line, lemon line, not lime, <laughs> that has come out. It is so cute and I didn't even get everything. I think there were two other products in this um, line that I didn't get. One is like one of those bigger oval shaped paper plates and the other one is just a bigger version of this napkin. So this was a dollar and it's so cute. I'm gonna junk journal with this. And then I just really love the paper plates. Like look how cute that is, love it. And I will just use this for like when I make sandwiches or like a little snack board. And then I just couldn't resist the little plastic cups. These were $3, a dollar and a dollar. So love that we're still getting dollar products, even though it's not a Dollar Tree. Um, okay. Then I picked up these adhesive labels. I just thought they were really pretty and different. They were also a dollar. I love the soft muted colors of them. And I'm gonna put this in my craft room and journal with that. One of my favorite hobbies is to be on Pinterest. It's probably one of my favorite apps and you can definitely follow me over there as well, Cheap Crafty Girl, but like it's it's literally how i function it's how i get my inspiration for my decorating it's how i dress myself i know i dress very basic um but your girl i can't dress myself without this pinterest and i love going on there and looking at junk journaling stuff and one of the junk journals that i saw somebody like used these little like thicker alphabet letters to like spell words out and i was just like that is so genius because with junk journaling there's just no rules and i think that's why i love it so much because for someone like me where everything has to be just so everything has to be symmetrical everything has to be it's just so nice to like let go and it's why it is a hobby that i've personally stuck to and again the, the point i'm making is like junk journaling doesn't have to be flat like you can still use pop up little items and i found these abc letters and they are non-magnetic so i like that so they're going to be a lot lighter as well so very easy to work with and these were two dollars by the way then if you know you know i just can't resist a composition notebook as a matter of fact i was just unboxing and unpacking i guess you could say my craft room because i just moved into this house if you haven't watched my decorate with me videos i'll link them down below and as i was opening up all my boxes in my craft room i came across all of my composition notebooks and i'm glad i held on to them because they're so cute so anyways um love this like to be fair though i'm sure some of them are going to end up in my d stash kits I've been talking about this. I'm gonna be pretty much going through all of my craft room and I'm gonna be creating kits of all of my stuff, random stickers and journals and things that I just, my goal is to be organized this year. That's my word of the year. So I thought it'd be really cool to put these kits up for sale if you want them on Etsy. Um, one, it's not my trash, it's still my treasure, but one person's treasure can be your treasure if you want it to be. Okay, then I picked up some makeup brushes. I was just shocked they were a dollar. 
So I thought I'd give them a try. These are eyeshadow brushes and it was something that I needed more of. So we'll see how good these work. I don't think it's a big brand. Studio Selection. It kind of seems like something that's like a Dollar General brand maybe. I don't really know. Let me know what you guys know about this brand. But I'm just not familiar with Dollar General brands. Um, big Gelosity pens are my favorite. And I usually can score these at Dollar Tree. But because it's a name brand, it's hard to come by every so often. So I just needed a refill and I haven't seen these at my Dollar Tree. So I picked them up at Dollar General, but I don't know what these cost. Probably like two or three dollars. Then I found this adorable little camera notebook, but I love how it has like, even the paper has, um, well, it's just plain. I don't even know what I was gonna say. The paper has nothing, <laughs> okay? But I did get it for this piece right here. It was just a dollar and I thought, I could definitely junk journal with this. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I feel like this puzzle, a lot of you may love this puzzle. It was $5. I think it was worth it, but this puzzle's just doing it for me. That looks so cute. Like this makes me want to actually like work the puzzle. Something about it reminds me of, who's, the, who's that artist? And she does calendars. Not Gooseberry Farm, but am I thinking of Inglebright? Mary Inglebright? Is that who I'm thinking of? Comment down below and let me know if you know like what my mind's thinking. I don't want to say it's Gooseberry Farm, the one that's like owned by the sisters or the best friends or whatever. I think it might be Mary Inglebright that I'm thinking of, but I just thought it was cute. Plus, what I'll end up doing is I'll end up using this for junk journaling. So I'll just cut this part out. Also, I'm gonna be organizing puzzles really soon. I can't wait for you guys to see how I'm gonna do it. Dollar Tree style, so stay tuned for that. That way I just kinda of get these out of the boxes. Okay, then Dollar General has some hats. They have some hats and um, I don't actually have a camo hat. Another thing I just did as well was I was finally tackling my closet in the new house and I was unpacking all of my hats and I really want to like go back through them and do a declutter of them. Cause as I was hanging them, I was like, okay, you know, I could probably get rid of this one, but I actually don't have a camo hat and I could definitely see myself reaching for this because of the black details in this. I just thought it was a great hat. Actually, I don't even know what I spent on this. The hat was $10. I was kind of hoping it would be like in the five to eight range, but I can say that compared to the hats I buy off of Amazon and they're usually $20, this is actually a pretty good deal because I can tell that the hat is really good quality and the patch is super nice. Okay, yeah, there, there it is. All right, now I'm gonna share with you guys the strawberry blueberry lemon dream items that I found. Let's start off with these super cute glass drinking jars. This is like a little rubber. Like how cute is that? Comes with the straw and everything and it's just absolutely precious. Um, this was $3, love that price because I try to imagine this like in the bullseye section at Target and I'm like, I don't think they would have labeled this three. This might've been a five or a $10. Um, and then I try to envision this in the bonus section at Dollar Tree. And I even think Dollar Tree would have made this $5. Like, I, I don't know, I'm just assuming. So it being $3, I, I like that number, I do. But something about the lemon. I don't know. And you can get rid of this piece if you wanted to. Like if this little like leaf thing doesn't work and you want it to be a little bit more simple, you can definitely get rid of that um, $3. This could also be great to style like tear trays with. There's not a blueberry in this. I don't know if, if it's out there. I don't know if there's other fruits. Comment and let us know what you're finding at your Dollar General, but that's all I found. Okay, now let's get into this little line, a blueberry. 
And that is interesting to me because I feel like a blueberry is one of those fruits. You just don't see it in like decor format. Obviously you can tell this is for the kitchen. You get the little sponge, $5 for this. I like it, I'll take it. And then I also got it in the lemon. Now they also had the matching lemon hand soap. I'll throw up a picture of it here. It's making me wonder if there's a blueberry hand soap pump and a strawberry hand soap pump. It's hand soap pump, but I didn't see it. So comment and let me know if, if, if it is out there. And then I also got the strawberry, except I'm just noticing that I <laughs> didn't get the little sponge. So the sponge is missing, but that's okay because you can also like use this as like decor maybe in your craft room. You can put little things in here if you wanted to. Um, Cause I'm not gonna put this in my kitchen. I do like it to sit in my craft room. So I guess this part I'll just throw in my kitchen drawers and then I'm gonna leave these like blank to like keep on my craft room desk and just keep little goodies inside of them. I just thought it was so cute. Um, and then the last things which I need your help with because I really don't know what the intended purpose is of these, but I do love that they are a little glass jar and they had four total colors. Let me see if I can't get them all together so you can see them. Super cute. So these are the colors that are out at Do or Dollar General right now. And these were all a dollar, a dollar. Like, I mean, at the very least, I would have thought two, 250 for this. I mean, compared to like Dollar Tree, but it's a little glass jar and then you have the slid in the spoon. Is this for like spices? Is it for sugar? Like, what would you put in here? It says it's food safe, but do not put it in the microwave and do not put it in the dishwasher is what it's recommending. So I don't know what's up with this, but as you can see, when you keep this little lid closed, it still holds the spoon so you can keep whatever food is in here airtight. But comment, let me know what food spices or whatever like, what do you think this is intended for? Do you think it's intended for spices? Do you think it's intended for like baking, like flour, baking soda, sugar? What is this intended for? I don't know, let me know. But these colors were super cute and I just had to get all four of them, especially since they were a dollar. But that's it. That's my Dollar General haul. Not gonna lie, I still wish I could have found the spring line of those glass mugs if you know you know if you've been watching me you know what i'm talking about it's hard to describe but they make dupes of it or it's a dupe to what i've seen from like amazon but i never found the green one i have the blue one let me sh actually i have the blue one let me show you um but i never found the green and i really wanted the green one but i did look for it so this was like the dollar general spring line they had this in pink, purple, blue, and green. I saw it in green. The first time I ever saw it, I saw it in green, and then I walked away and didn't buy it, and I was so upset. Anyways, um, that's it. That's my Dollar General haul. Thank you so much for letting me talk your ear off today. I hope that you liked this haul. Comment down below and let me know if there's anything from this haul that you're interested in. I would have to say my favorite thing out of this haul are these two things. These are my top two favorite things in this entire haul. Um, but the blueberry left me speechless because I've never seen anybody give us blueberry decor. So look at these two little blue items. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.